Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature, and we're here in the museum's bird collections. A big part of the holiday season in December is the giving of presents, and you may be surprised to learn that some animals, such as birds, also give gifts. And here to talk about that is Greg Rand, who takes care of our bird collections. Hi, Laura. Um, gift giving is, in fact, a big part of a lot of bird, bird culture, basically speaking. Um, a lot of birds do give gifts, usually as part of a courting behavior. Uh, one common species which people may be familiar with is the Northern Cardinal. So this bright red bird frequents bird feeders, um, very adept to suburban environments, and it has a very distinct car alarm-like song. So the Cardinal's favorite gift is a seed. Um, so People may actually see this at their bird feeders. The male will show up with the female and he'll start feeding your seeds one at a time even though there's plenty of seeds around, it's not a limited availability thing. And that's really just him giving her and helping strengthen the pair bond. Here we have a cedar waxwing. So this is a migratory species. Um, they're around here in good numbers during the summer months, so from spring to early fall. Some of them do hang around the winter, but generally they're gone. Cedar waxwings, unlike our car the cardinal from before, love berries. The male will give all sorts of berries to the female to try and uh, create a strong bond between them. The next bird we have over here is a northern shrike and this species unlike the other ones is much less common. It's a winter bird. They breed up in the bo northern boreal forest and they only come down during the winter months. So right now at this time of the year, November, December, um, is when they start showing up. They hang around bird feeders not for the seed but for the other birds. Their other name is the butcher bird. This, unlike the previous two birds, it's a predatory songbird. It doesn't eat seeds, so part of its gift giving is giving a small dead animal, even a small bird. And they don't have the talons of a raptor, so like a hawk. So what they do is they take their prey to a tree, they impale it for leverage, and also they'll sometimes leave it there just so they have uh, a snack later on. And of course we have a very recognizable bird here, the crow. Mm -hmm. What does it do? This is an American crow. They're very smart birds and their gift giving is actually known to go beyond just giving it to their mate. They've actually been known to give gifts to people. And in one well-known example, the birds had learned a behavior where they would bring a gift and in exchange would receive food. It probably started out as a coincidence, but all the other crows learned this behavior and started bringing shiny things, twigs, bits of plastic in exchange for food and we're just leaving it in this person's yard. It's fascinating to learn how some of the rituals of these species reflect some of our rituals during the holiday season. And I gotta say, while I wouldn't mind berries or trinkets, I'm hoping there's no skewered rodent in store for me this December. To each their own. <laughs>